Oh, are we rolling? <laughs> Today we're out here at the Ned Harkness Track and Field. It's our workout Wednesday for RPI Cross Country. The men and women's team out here. And, uh, and we got a good workout for you today. We really do. Got some 1K repeats and uh, the weather. Weather's looking perfect. Um, high 50s, 57 or so. Clouds coming in and going out. Beautiful, beautiful day. All right guys, hopefully you've Memorize your paces that were on the drive, but if you need a refresher, got the pace sheets right here. Take a look at those and we'll head out. All right, so you guys know the workout. We had CV 1Ks today. This is our hard effort workout for the week. We had the, uh, the tempo two days ago. Hopefully you're all recovered from yesterday. So we're gonna go out. Uh, I want you guys to take it easier on the first couple ones. By the time we get to those VO2s, that's where you're really gonna bring it. Uh, trying to just get a little speed work in there in these 1Ks, okay? And the strides after, don't kill yourself on them, but we still want them to be nice, light, fast. It'll be a 800 to 1600 pace. But um, let's head down to the track and throw our stuff down, start our warm up, okay? Now, we have most of our team in Louisville for pre nationals, but uh, the rest of the team back behind get a nice hard effort in today. And some people on other teams, uh, I wouldn't know, but they probably call them the, the C team that we have here today. I like to think of it as the third A team. That's really the type of depth we have here. Coaching this team for the past couple of years, I've seen a lot of talent come and go. And um, I'm really just proud of all the people that are here today. And you'll really get to see what type of talent we have. Today's workout, we're gonna be doing some 1K repeats. And we're gonna do about five to six at a critical velocity. And then uh, the last two, we're gonna be doing at a VO2 pace. So some of these guys will be getting seven or eight 1Ks in today. Um, it'll be pretty fun and exciting to see them on the faster ones. And we'll finish it up with a couple strides out here on the track. Yeah, I'd like to give a shout out to my family, um, my wife and kids, beautiful two rugrats. I had to drop them off at school this morning and uh, God, really just, just lightens my day. Really, I, I mean, that, that and the little Duncan picked me up afterwards. But, uh, but yeah, light of my life, light of my life. with my work my teammates in their workouts you know all these athletes I got sometimes just to see where they're at physically that's why I coach Vincent Petrino of RPI cross country run with my athletes you know just give them a little extra encouragement sometimes it's all they need oh beautiful beautiful workout beautiful day
Yeah, I'm really impressed with today's workout. Those guys did a hell of a job out there. Uh, some of the front runners you saw on those, on those last ones, those are some guys that I'm definitely keeping my eye out for as the season goes into the championship portion. Um, just good, good quality all throughout today. Good quality for a hard workout like this. Beautiful weather, like you saw. Um, beautiful weather, good splits. Good splits out there. And they didn't really push it too much early, which is what I was looking for. I'm very impressed by some of the freshmen this year. Um, especially last week at, uh, at the Purple Valley Classic. Some of those guys were right up, right behind our top, top seven, top ten guys right around there. Um, and that's really, really exciting as a coach to see these guys coming in with that much ability and talent. So pre-nationals, that race is tomorrow. Got our men and women out there ready to run that. And Liberty Leagues looking to defend our title that we've had for the past couple of years. Regionals looking to do the same. Won our first regional title last year. Going to bring it this year. And Nationals going to show up and show off. So really exciting things. We're going to take this base that we've really worked on the whole summer and beginning of the season and just develop that a little bit more, get some speed in, and be able to finish. Now, it's a shame that Ryan Berlin sucked eggs out there. Um, he, he usually does this, so I wasn't too worried. But, uh, God, he just, as a coach, seeing something like that, really just makes you think twice about making somebody like that a captain.